أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم أجمعين وعن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنهما قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من قرأ القرآن فقد استدرج النبوة بين جنبيه غير أنه لا يوحى إليه لا ينبغي لصاحب القرآن أن يجد مع من جد ولا يجهل مع من جهل وفي جوفه كلام الله تعالى رواه الحاكم وقال صحيح الإسناد He has been reported on the authority of Abdullah ibn Amr that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Whoever recites the Qur'an has secured prophethood in his chest, except that he has not received revelation. It is not befitting for the companion of the Qur'an to be indignant with those in anger, nor indulge in ignorance with those who are ignorant, whilst the speech of Allah is embedded in his heart, related by Al-Hakim, and he said, the Isnad is Sahih. The Prophet ﷺ mentions having the Qur'an secured and having the prophethood secured in one's chest, what does this mean? It means that the message of the Qur'an, the words, the meanings has entered into our hearts. The very same message that the Prophet ﷺ has received, words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except la yuha ilay, except that the message that we have received, unlike the Prophets who have received it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the difference. But nevertheless, this message should ennoble us. The Prophet ﷺ mentions the characteristics that the people of the Qur'an should have, the people who have Qur'an within their hearts, the etiquettes that a believer should have. He mentions that the believer should be, should refrain from being hasty, should be calm, should be relaxed, and shouldn't get heated and angry with those that show anger, that the believer shouldn't stoop to the level of the ignorant when they show ignorance, why? Because the people of the Qur'an, people of the Qur'an in the heart, not only should they be changed by the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and them being a vessel of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's also the fact that the people who have the Qur'an with them are representatives of the deen of the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when a believer does actions, it's not merely to tick a box of doing actions, the aim should be for a believer to do actions with beauty. So a believer who has Qur'an in the heart not only represents the religion, but should also be changed by the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the aim should be to seek magnanimity and really represent Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at all times. Wa sallallahu ala khayri khalki maulana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallam ajma'in.